Einstein's theory of relativity, and partially there's technical terminology. Many people think it was Einstein who came up with the theory of relativity, as if Albert was sitting in his office in Switzerland, and, entirely on his own, came up with a way to describe space and time. It wasn't quite like that. However, we'll skip Albert's many predecessors and get to the interesting bits. Einstein's theory of relativity was published by Albert Einstein in 1915. It explains gravity by stating that everything creates dips in space, and the larger the dip is, the more gravity is on the object. It's not the only theory, just the simplest. Why is it called relativity? It's called relativity because time and length are not absolute. One second and one centimetre are different depending on where you are. Same with speed. Say you're travelling over 300 million metres a second, you'd expect to be overtaking the light particles around you. However, although the speed of light is 300 million metres a second, you would still find the light going faster than you. This is because your speed over 300 million metres a second is only relative to the Earth. You're not actually going that fast. Say you're an identical twin. At the age of 25, one of you travels into space, going at 90% the speed of light. You spend 10 years going one way, and 10 years coming back. When you return, you're 45. However, your twin is 71. This is because, as you travel into space, you're also travelling in time, effectively meaning you're going into the future. To put the theory of relativity into the simplest terms possible, you need to imagine a spaceship travelling through space at around the speed of light. As the ship moves through space, it creates a dimple, or bump in space itself. The faster the spaceship goes, the more space and time is bent around it, effectively slowing down time and shortening length. It takes a while to get your head around this, but once you do, it becomes clearer. This also explains how gravity works. The bigger the object, the bigger the bump in space it creates, which causes objects to move towards it. In conclusion, the theory of relativity is a very complex thing, and takes some advanced maths and physics to properly understand it. However, this is an attempt to outline the general principle. Now go and get your A-level in physics.